Have you ever had the experience where you get distracted right in the middle of doing something? We all have, right? We're human. That's just part of being a business owner or an entrepreneur. We have things pop up. Maybe there are fires that we've got to put out. Maybe something has changed in the market. Or maybe there's that flashing, shiny object that gets our attention. If you're working with a team or trying to guide multiple people towards a common goal, that can happen and the problem can be exponentially worse. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing how to use a rallying cry to unite a team behind a goal. And by using this tool, this tactic, you can get more focused team, a more fueled team, and a team that's more likely to achieve the goal that you want them to. Welcome to Growth Amplifiers, where we showcase the best tips, resources, and tools to amplify and scale your business. So this is a fun tool to create. Realize that the importance of getting focus is if you're distracted and you even lose track of what you're trying to do, obviously it's gonna have an impact on getting it done. Or if people just aren't giving their full effort because they're trying to do too many things, they're getting pulled in too many different directions, that can also have an impact on that outcome. So the rallying cry is used as kind of a tool that you can share the rallying cry, whether verbal verbally in a meeting or in a discussion, or you can share it with email or other forms of communication. But it's like a signal, something that goes out there and unites everyone, reminding them of what we're working towards. It really rallies everyone together. Remember, what are we right now focused on moving forward? Now, I use this in the Amplified Growth System. I call it a rallying declaration because I think cry, I just don't align with cry. A rallying declaration as we're setting a quarterly goal, We've shared a goal and we said, this is what we're going to be focusing on for the upcoming quarter. We want to get everyone rallied behind it. We want to be able to create this rallying cry so that when people hear it, all the distractions that are popping up around them, all the fires, all the shiny objects, they can say and get right back into being focused on what we're aiming to get done. This helps really push forward the passion and the perseverance because people can rally behind the rallying cry, remembering what the core focus is, why we're going after it, it should encapsulate that. Give you an example. I was facilitating a strategic planning session for a company that had been around for about a decade and they were doing pretty good, but they did have a setback the year prior due to some changes in the market. And there were some mistakes they had there was some fallout in the business and the owner was just kind of in this frustrated point. And he was kind of looking backwards a lot. He was looking at the challenges, at the mistakes. And the team members that he was working with were having these challenges too. They were looking at what they didn't do. They were looking at some of the things they should have done. They were looking more backwards than forward. Remember that what's done is done. We can learn from those experiences, but now we've got to be forward focused. And so we set some goals for the upcoming quarter and we created the rallying cry, forward focused. When they were having team meetings or if they were connecting and working on something and people were getting off course and maybe starting to talk about things that didn't work in the past or the mistakes they made in the past, someone could call out the rallying cry, unifying the team reminding them we're forward focused. Here's the things that we're getting done this quarter. We're improving this quarter. We're taking actions moving forward this quarter. Let's get out of the past. This really helped the team re-energize, unify behind something, and they crossed that barrier. They quit focusing on the past and they had one of the best quarters ever. That's the power of the rallying cry. How do we do this? First thing you'd want to do is you got to define what is the clear direction that you're focusing on. Why are you looking to address an issue that's causing a problem now? Are you looking to put an opportunity into action? What is the most impactful thing that you could be putting your focus and attention to? I like guiding through the process of creating smart goals and really being clear with those, but you can define a rallying cry before before you have smart goals to find because it again will unify the overall direction of where we're looking to focus. And then you have the team together, have your inner circle, whether you're working with an advisor or a coach or other people in a mastermind or a collective group, you can kind of share the direction that you're going and ask people to contribute their thoughts 
and brainstorm out what is a rallying cry? What is a mantra that we can put out that will help remind us where we're going? So a few that I like are focus forward. You know, it's very similar to forward focused. Just making sure that you're looking forward. You're not getting too caught up in the past. Realize rising revenue. So if your goal is to improve revenue, you want to realize it. You want to bring it into existence. You can say right now, are we doing something that's realizing rising revenue? That is the battle cry. Let's get behind that. That is the battling declaration. Serve more to get more. A declaration that you put out there if you're trying to grow your business, but rather than thinking about trying to get as many sales as you can get or as much out of the customers you can get, you could say, how can we serve more to get more? How can we provide better service, a better experience? And getting everyone to remember it's about serving and that's how we grow. Together, we are stronger. So rather than having so much competition in the company, in your business, you can remind everyone together, we are stronger. Let's find a way to synergize. Let's find a way to to work together so that we can achieve more. So those are some examples that you can take into consideration. So here's an action that you could take. Identify a focus that you're aiming to move forward and then write down a rallying cry or a rallying declaration that encapsulizes that idea and that when you hear it, it really helps you remember where you're going, why it's important. Write it out, put it in prominent places, put it on your wall, put it on a screensaver, on your phone, on your computer, what have you. Just make sure that you're seeing it. If you have a team, share it with them, get them involved in the process and have fun doing it. So question for you is what's a rallying cry that motivates you? What is something that you have heard that gets you lit up, that gets you focused, that gets you moving forward into what's important for you? In our next video, we're gonna be covering three exercises to craft an effective action plan. It's great to have actionable ideas, but if you don't put them in action, if you don't execute them, then they're not gonna be serving you. So we're gonna be sharing those ideas. Make sure to tune in and share because that is how you can spread this out to others and continually amplify. Thanks for your support. To show your support, take a moment to amplify this message by sharing it online. To connect with me or gain more business growth insights, visit www.growthamplifiers.com. Thank you for your support.